Hello, this is Das Dosange with CypherCloud, and welcome to our Friday Chalk Talk. I'd like to introduce to you today a topic regarding data protection as a service. This is utilized by the majority of our customers around the globe. And what this essentially provides is a capability to where if you're using the CypherCloud gateway to protect your information going to the Salesforce cloud, you may have app exchange partners in your ecosystem, as I've depicted here in app number one and app number two, that may want to utilize that data that's in the Salesforce cloud. And as you can clearly see, that data is in red here, which means it's encrypted or tokenized or may not be utilized if it's directly accessed from Salesforce. So what our customers have shared with us is uh, how do we provide that information in clear text to these app exchange partners. So let me walk you through a scenario whereby some of our largest financial firms and our largest healthcare companies have utilized this service. I'll start with this uh, application number one, and it requires that information from Salesforce. We actually use an endpoint URL here depicted in number one. That means we change the destination of that request to point to the Cypher Cloud gateway in the enterprise domain. So that first request comes through, and we're actually using a, a SOAP request in this case. It hits our gateway. We actually then forward that request to Salesforce, as you see here in step two and three, and we obtain that encrypted piece of information. As it makes its way down back to the gateway and then back uh, to our Cypher Cloud platform, we actually decrypt that content and send it in the clear back to this application while maintaining this consistent session all the way through this transaction. Then that application in the cloud can go ahead and do its processing or whatever those next steps are. That's one example of changing the endpoint URL, and we've done that with quite a few applications that rely on uh, the Salesforce for its uh, transactions. There are cases where a third-party application that's part of the app exchange of Salesforce may rely on that content and may not have the opportunity to actually connect directly to our gateway. In that case, we can actually work with Salesforce and modify the pointer within Salesforce itself. So whenever this kind of uh, application requires this information, we actually point to our gateway first, as I've depicted in steps A and B, and then we conduct our decryption or detokenization activity. We then forward that information in clear text in step D, and then we forward it along to the application so it can do its processing or further activity based upon that clear text information. This is an example of server-side or modification of the pointer or URL in comparison where actually on the application one, we're changing the endpoint URL within that application. So those are two examples of data protection as a service and that allows the Salesforce app exchange partners not only to protect the data within Salesforce, but then to access it and process it in clear text when the use case requires it. Thank you.